Welcome to Focus on Creativity, where we talk about creativity. Enjoy. Hey, I'm Char Crail, Focus on Creativity, and we are back with Steve Mahoney, the amazing singer-songwriter. He's so prolific, and he told us last time we talked that he had a technique for getting a song, at least, you know, creating something out of nowhere in 10 minutes. He's going to prove it right now. I'm going to time him. I've got my timer here, and we've got 10 minutes, so here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, so first... You're going to start with something. In this case, it's going to be everything goes like this. A few times, then in with Okay? So, I know how fast it goes. I set a timer. So, there's the click. I'm going to get near that. Oh, yeah. And then you record that part. One. And because this is a program that you can repeat, you can just save that and use it later on when that part comes around again. And then we're going to find another part. That thing. That a second ago. So you're working in GarageBand right now? Yep. Cool. So you're recording it, so you can loop it later. Okay, got it. There's the recording. There's the clip. So I might record that riff with the second guitar and then add some bass later on. Right now, for the purpose of creating, I'm going to go to the next part. So the next part is uh, sort of similar to the first part. Got a bunch of weird noises being made. I lost my guitar just now, but that's good. So what made you pick that beat? Um, well, like I said, I just started off with the guitar playing that riff, and then I figured out how fast it was by setting the metronome to it. In this case, that, uh, it's 150. Yeah, 150 beats per minute. Nice. So I set my timer to 150. That way when I get to the part where I'm going to start writing drums for these, um, I'll, I'll, I'll have it synced up in time. I'm not just my goodness. Um, so the next part is similar to the first part. Variation on what I played before. <laughs> we'll do something different. And then let's see, somewhere down the line here, I believe there's some section that's set up for guitar solo noodling. Guitar solo noodling. That sounds really fun. So this all comes about later on. There's another guitar part that comes up here later on that I already pre-recorded. Doesn't even sound like it fit with that first part at all. So now we got a verse, we got a chorus, and we got a bridge. There, there's a whole. Oh my God! You have a cur uh, really all those three things in that little tiny bit of time? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So then you just take that and take it apart. And so you, with this program, you can copy and make things loop. Wow. So if I, the first guitar part sounded good, I can go ahead and keep that and I can loop it later on or just copy the whole section to another wow. section. Verse goes here, verse goes there. And so it's good for arranging too. So like if I'm gonna work with another person, they go, you know, can I have that eight times? You only played it four. Well, guess what? I just go bloop, 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 bloop. Wow. Bye. There's your eight times, buddy. Write some lyrics. <laughs> Are you going to write lyrics, too? Eventually, I'm sure there'll be some lyrics. Today, I was thinking, because, you know, we've still got five minutes and 41, <laughs> zero, 39. 
I don't 38. have for this right the second, but <laughs> yeah, if somebody wants to write some, I'm happy to have them. Uh, well, they can go to that website you mentioned. So then we go to uh, the drum track, we'll get rid of the click, and then I'll start writing drums for these same exact parts. So here comes that. <laughs> you look happy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's headbanging music, all right. Now that's the first one. Blah 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 blah. More blah. Okay. So this becomes a template that I can sit here and listen to this and I go, what's the timing? I don't want to do this. If I'm singing, I gotta make sure I can do this at the same time too. <sighs> Not so fast. <laughs> Not so fast. So that same stuff repeats itself over again. Wow. And where are we at? We're at three fifty eight. Oh, that's nice. Is that you? And then the on slide continues. What are you going to title it? What was that? Um, well, this song did have some lyrics to it before, kind of on the scrap. So it was being called Fight right now. It's called um, June 27th. <laughs> That's a very catchy name. <laughs> <laughs> that was when the first riff happened. So okay, got it. Like I said, some of them are quick, some of them aren't so quick. That's the one that's not so quick. All right, so what I got was that you actually created some of that earlier, and then you, you're combining them. You felt that they went together, so you put them together. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Great. So um, here's my <laughs> template. So like, so I got a template that, like, I just opened up the template. And so oh, my I, gosh. Like, now I get it. The guitar part, turn it on. My guitar's ready to rock right now, and I go to the drum kit, and I have the drum kit already. There's some basic beats. That are, I'm using Superior Drummer, by the way, if anybody wants to know. Um, oh, so these are beats. These are loops. These are essentially the beats that have already been created. Um, so you have your basic beat, right? Like this is ACDC 101. This will pretty, pretty much be what I start every single song I write. Really? Yeah. You know, because there's no way you can mess that up. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? All right, we're counting down now. 141. What? 39. 38. 37. Well, that's still fun. Just over a minute now. minute and a half, All right. roughly. Let's see if I can get rid of this track here. All the way to the beginning. Loop. Okay. Look, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I know you're not trying to write a song from beginning to end in ten minutes because the idea was around being creative and actually getting something in ten minutes inspired. Thank you. 
just wrote three parts in a row. Awesome. Well, guess what? We've only got 19, 18, 17. <laughs> we're, we're almost there to our 10 second so with countdown. My, with my 19 seconds or whatever that you just gave to me, I could theoretically cut and part each one of those little pieces and call this the part one, part two, and part three, and then replicate them and say, right. that's a song. Look at that. Here we go. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Good job. You did it. That was pretty awesome and very interesting, actually, to watch the process. Yeah, but I do feel I do feel like I got a sense of it. I really do. It's it's pieces. It's bits and pieces. Some are being created on the spot. Some are actually created because you know we live in this amazing digital realm, right? And so you're taking pieces, you're putting them together, figuring out the order, figuring out the beat, and uh, and also creating from nothing. You know, like your inspiration as well. I had that one the first part already pre-done like so just to save time but the second thing i just did that was just kind of off the top of my head nice uh so there's a little piece of the chorus there i just have one last question for you dude oh thank you <laughs> what occurred to me was if there was anything in the world, is there anything in the world that you would do other than what you're doing? If no given the chance or if choice. I, if I hit the lotto? Yeah, sure. What'd you do if they hit the lotto? I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't stop making music or would you? I probably. I <laughs> too busy. Didn't expect that. Did not going? expect that. World. Yeah, I know. You'd be too busy oh. traveling the world. Let's go to Rome. <laughs> go to Rome and Rome. Why not? I don't know. I'll probably have a guitar with me. Who knows? I, I thought about, you know, I thought about, uh, I never really thought about quitting uh, until my mom passed a couple years ago. Oh. So I was kind of down. I thought, well, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. But you just can't get it out of your system, unfortunately. Yes. Weren't you kind of born a musician? Born this way? That's kind of how it seems. <laughs> Can't seem to get rid of it. But, you know, I think there's a lot of people like you who are, um, they're lifers, you know, I call them lifers. You, know, you have the people who you see them plan, and they're maybe people that are 10, 20, 30 years older than I am. They're up in retirement age even, and they're still playing. Yeah. They're still playing. They're still having fun. And you're like, man, those people are laughers. And you have people who get into it for a little while, and then it's too hard. Or, you know, it's, it's too much. They get a, other responsibilities or hmm. distract them from being creative or having fun with art. I, I think you're a lifer, too. Uh, my mom was an oil painter, so I said she got it Yeah. with me. She understood it. And when, you know, and when the time came that I actually made a little bit of money doing it, she was like, hey, I love it. it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think she would have wanted me to stop, honestly. So not necessarily doing it for her, but there's a little bit of that. Sure. I know. I relate to that because my parents were both very creative people. So, and I see that. I see myself in, you know, I see them in me. In my expression and who I am and what I do. Side topic on that. Do you think that inspiring creativity in younger people inspires more creative people in an overall sense? Like specifically, if you have a child, your husband's a piano player, singer, and you're an artist in multiple ways. And yeah. This, if you had a child, it would be totally ingrained in all that stuff. Absolutely. Pretty, pretty guaranteed they'd come out. Being an artist of some nature. Well, either being an artist or in general, in general, I would say being a creative thinker, which I think is in in believe super important. Because I believe we're all creative anyway. But we're actually what we're talking about is the arts. Am I right? But there's so many more ways to be creative, you know, and how you express yourself. And it could just be your own personal style, or it could be mathematics. I mean, there's so much creative creativity in, in all walks of life. But I do think that it helps to sort of think outside the box if, if you know, as parents and having kids, you know, just hel helping them to think for themselves and, and to believe in what their instincts are, their creative instincts. I right. think that's you, super important. You grew up and I grew up in an English speaking country. And so we learned how to speak English and 
if you had parents that were multilingual, you would have grown up multilingual. Yeah, you probably right? would. But you yeah. grew up in a, in a universe where your parents have, uh, let's say, the vocabulary of music, yeah. or the vocabulary of photography. Yeah. That becomes part of your vocabulary as you're learning the rest of life. You know, it's, it's got to be there. Yeah. Right? Uh, that's why when, you know, you and I were both involved in some capacity in Stairway to Stardom, I enjoyed that so much because it's like, yeah. That's an amazing program. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. Inspiring young minds and showing them what's possible and, and helping them beat back what they think are their limitations because there really aren't. I don't think so. Anyway, okay. Well, that ends our 10 minutes of amazing music writing with Steve Mahoney. Thank you again. If you want to find Steve Mahoney online, we just go to stevemahoneymusic.com and I'll give you a link. And I, that, was, that was wonderful. I so appreciate getting to see the creative in action like that. Yay. Cool. Thank you, Steve.